Got my uh, blinks made for my uh, 170 second hanger bay kit. I'm just going back in and uh, cleaning them all up so I can go and vacuum for them and hopefully have kits out by next week. Uh, the W12, rocking and rolling on it. I did get the uh, main wing, top main wing uh, glued together. This was actually in three pieces. Uh, I did get the uh, wings glued on, the uh, fuselage, got the fuselage together and started getting the little uh, machine guns on and some other just noticeable detail. Got the hatches down and I want to tell you all, I had a hell of a time getting the fuselage to fit. As you can see right there from the stress of it when I clamped it on, I just could not get it to. I could get one side, I could get the top pretty much uh, glued down, but I could not get the bottom. But after I got clamp after clamp after clamp on it, I finally got it to fit. But anyway, I just got to add uh, basically the wing struts, uh, the tail, and a uh, basically the uh, rear turret uh, machine gun mount and that's it and then I'll be able to uh, I really don't have to uh, sand it or anything just got to knock off a few uh, uh, major areas and then uh, basically paint it and decal it next weekend which is uh, hopefully my game plan but always subject to change that's because we got the uh, dragonfly which I cannot leave alone love this kit uh, last I left off on this, I got all the uh, parts on, went ahead and mounted it to a Polar Lights uh, Universal Dome Base. I did have to take a K&S uh, aluminum tube and uh, mount it there, that's so you can fish the wires through. I uh, got the parts on. Uh, sanded everything down that there ain't really much of a seam it's just a very very little uh, seam if there was sanded that down on both sides and uh, I did get a about a coat and a half of primer on but as you can see the uh, lights work and I'll shoot some uh, flat black and I'll really light block it to death when I uh, once this coat dries but I mean we're rocking and rolling And then after I get it light block, I'll go back over with some primer and then uh, decide on the base coat I want. The instructions say uh, white, pearlescent white. I'm going to go with more of a light gray. I think it looked better. And you can always shade with uh, little coats of uh, uh, add white to the gray and just uh, highlight the panels if you need to. But we're rocking and rolling on the uh, Johnny Quest. Uh, the uh, Macquarie X-Wing, uh, knocked out the, uh, canopy windows, which, uh, I thought that I got to clean them up a little bit more, but not too bad. Uh, I do got to, there is one part on this kit that I'm going to have to fix, <clears throat> it's part of the engine's missing. So I'll just have to take some epoxy sculpt and probably some styrene strip and re, uh, fix it. <coughs> Uh, what I got to do next now is uh, I got to uh, drill this all the way out and so I can add LEDs in it on the four engines and then uh, basically drill it out here to about right there and then drill it out in the wing so when the uh, roughly you know, something like that the wires will basically go through here and then into the fuselage so that's what I got to work on uh, this week is get them drilled out, uh, get the wires uh, situated, and then uh, drill out the uh, canopy for some LEDs. I can't do a whole lot because it's just too small and too thick, if you will. But I will get a couple of uh, LEDs in here, just uh, not LEDs, uh, fiber optics, and that should uh, give it a little bit of cockpit lighting. So that's uh, what I got going on with the Macquarie X-Wing. Uh, the skids in the uh, vacuum form, I'll get that probably ready uh, this week. I want to start the David probably tomorrow, and that's basically I want to cut all the pore plugs off and uh, get everything sanded down because once I start gluing, that kit just uh, basically builds itself. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. I don't get to build much uh, Civil War items, but we're going to on this one. Uh, the Dragon, I got him all primered to a point. I'm waiting so I can 
go do one more coat, but he's pretty well done. I mean, I just got to put the start painting. It's the wings, and I actually washed this kit, but I want to show you. Uh, this is about a coat of primer. So, once the flake off, I guess I didn't wash it good enough. So, what I'm going to do is uh, take some sandpaper. I'm just going to lightly sand everything. And hopefully that will score it up and then shoot the primer on. And that should uh, solve the problem on that. And that's what I got to do on both the wings and the dragon. The base is pretty much uh, pretty solid. I'll just, I'll probably, I'll, I'll get to paint that pretty soon. Uh, nothing flaked on that. The dinosaur, uh, the T-Rex, I'm pretty much satisfied getting all the uh, uh, gaps filled. There's a couple little spots I want to fill up just a little bit more. And then I am done on that. And then I'll be able to... Uh, start painting him as well the base uh what i did is i had to go to the craft store and get cellu clay this is basically a paper mache uh you just add take you a little bit of a little bit of it add water and uh, mix it up makes excellent groundwork i always uh when i mix it i always add a little elmer's glue or i prefer wood glue I think it makes it a little bit stronger. I've also uh, used a uh, stiffy in it. And it just makes uh, the mixture just a little bit harder. Uh, I put this on this morning. It's still a little wet. And I always do a section at a time. But if you can tell, it blends in with the uh, base. And it just builds it up. And it makes... See how the base, this base is lumpy, this makes it lumpy, and then when I add uh, groundwork to it, as in uh, uh, pebbles and everything else, and everything will all blend together. And then once you shoot paint on it, you'll just see it's a completely different uh, uh, thing. That's uh, the art of diorama making. And I might do a video on how to make a diorama with the study clay, just the basics, but that's probably uh, down the road, so... I'll do this first and then probably do a little video of that. So that's what I got going today. Got the uh, dinosaurs, got the dragon, the uh, Macquarie X Wing, which is in the planning stage, and the Johnny Quest Dragonfly. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.